Well, what we did here for these water cannons is we have an 8 inch barrel right here I believe it's an 8 inch I'll measure it though to be sure I've adapted these two tanks we adapt our tanks for different things whether it's propane or whatever but just give you a rundown of what this looks like got a continuous air line coming in it comes to a quarter inch ball valve also, and then it goes into the tank, but it has a, uh, a gauge on it so it can regulate the pressure. I'm filling both tanks with continuous air at the same time, so I'm using the, the T, my continuous air line, and that's right now that's just running to our house air out in the field to be running to a compressor. And if you look at the other tank, same thing again. That's your air line coming in, quarter inch ball valve in this case goes down, quarter inch ball valve. You got your gauge. Another shot of the ball valve. And then it just simply comes to a, a solenoid. Solenoid valve right here, is your solenoid valve. It's an inch and a half, it's an inch and a half. It's gonna push all the water. We'll just leave that in there to fill for a little bit and come back and look at it. Take me to fill this up. And how much is it going to weigh? Okay, so here's what we're looking at. We're pushing everything with 100 PSI right now. We're pushing everything at 100 PSI. And we want to find the volume in water in gallons that fits in the cylinder. The volume of equals pi. Symbol for pi is this times radius squared times height. So now more volume, I come down here and my volume equals 3.14, this equals pi down here. The radius was four, and four squared is, uh, is, is, uh, four times itself, okay, which equals 16. We're just gonna put it right alongside it like that, times the height, which equals 28. So you have 3.14 times 16 times 28 gives us Close enough. Round it off gives us 1,407 cubic inches. 107 cubic inches. This is a U. Cubic inches. I want to find this in gallons. This is in cubic inches. Okay. I want to find this in gallons, liquid gallons. So to find the volume in gallons of water or liquid, which is what we're using here, is I take my 1.1407 1 and I multiply it by 0 0.0043. And that gives me, in gallons, six point. Oh five, so it gives me roughly a little over six gallons, and then I didn't add for the bottom. That's probably like another quart. So I'm just going to go ahead and say roughly inside there, it's six point two five gallons. So I have to push six point two five gallons of water 
And we can find the weight of that just by multiplying by eight. Because a gallon of water weighs a little over seven pounds, I usually just round it off by eight. I can just drop this for now for argument's sake, eight times six is 48. Okay, so I've got to push about roughly 50 pounds. 50 pounds of water is what I'm pushing at 100 PSI. How are we doing? Oh, it looks like we're just about there. It's almost at the drain plug. Drain hole. Let's turn it off. Pull it on out of there. Right, that's about the about it. Just a quick note as far as the electrical. Basically, I showed you the solenoids earlier. Basically, just uh, it's an Edison plug, and I got two of them running. Got two of them running, but they're going off at the same time, and it's just going into this control board right here. If you look, it's just a regular household switch. It's real simple. All right, we lowered the pressure. We're gonna do 1680. See what it's like, Fernando. You're gonna get wet if you're standing there. All right, whenever you're ready. Yep. <laughs> 